Now, other news today. Police have identified the suspect shot and killed by police last night in North St. Louis. He is identified as 23-year-old Norman Bennett. Officers say Bennett had just completed a drug deal when undercover officers tried to arrest him, and he took off. Police say officers chased Bennett, but when he pulled a gun, the officers opened fire. Now, some in that neighborhood say just the opposite of what police claim happened. They say the victim was not armed, did not have any drugs, and did not threaten police. This was Robin Smith spoke to City Alderman Antonio French about the conflicting accounts of what happened. I've heard different situations. I've heard different stories about what happened. But Antonio French is the alderman for the 21st Ward, which is very near where the police killing occurred last night. French is working on two anti-crime programs, hoping to reduce the violence. One is called 100 Block Units Program, organizing 100 block units in his ward. He already has 40. In the other program, he's requesting surveillance cameras in high traffic and high crime areas. And he hopes that both will stop the crimes and other incidents, which sometimes lead to police killings. You know, by organizing our neighbors to look out for one another and identify what's going on in the block early, that helps identify drug houses, situations where guys are hanging out in the street corners, selling drugs, doing bad things. And working with police and our elected officials and our nuisance coordinators in the ward, we're able to identify those houses and those people in, uh, early and hopefully weed them out before it and gets into an incident like yesterday. That was Robin Smith reporting. The family of the suspect also claims that he was an innocent victim of police violence. Hear what they have to say coming up on News 4 at 10 o'clock tonight. An effort to rebuild and improve housing in the city of St. Louis continues. Today was the second in a series of rebuilding days this summer. The goal is to improve housing in six neighborhoods in the 21st Ward, the homes which are most in need of repair. The first rebuilding day took place back in May, and it was a huge success. 66 homes are being targeted for rehab this summer. Dozens of volunteers turned out to provide a variety of free services for residents. They were laying new floors, putting in ceilings, putting up drywall, fixing plumbing, fixing electric. It was medium, small. And... Funding for this program comes from Boeing, the city of St. Louis, other major corporations, and individual donations.